All right, so I've been using this final mouse for about a week now, and I am less than impressed with it for the price point. And so from all of the positive reviews I've seen on YouTube, um, I'm not going to be the only negative one, but I feel like that if there was a few more negative reviews on YouTube, it would have made me reconsider how much I was going to spend on this because I haven't been very impressed with it, to be completely honest, and it's actually exactly why I'm going to be selling it. So right away, let's start with the weight. The weight on the final mouse is phenomenal. You're not going to find weight better than this. 67 grams, um, and let me tell you, it does help with gameplay. You can feel your flicks and everything like that it's just way faster, but that, in my opinion, is kind of where the positive stops on the final mouse. Throughout this video, I'm going to be comparing it to the Steel Series Rival because this has been my daily driver for a long time. And the Steel Series Rival, it's in weight comparison, it's about 21 grams heavier. So this is 67, this is 88. When the mouse is on the mat, you feel it a little bit, but it's nothing that a casual gamer like myself should um, should have to worry about. On to the buttons. Um, the buttons on the final mouse are. I like them. They feel really solid. So you click them, there's a perfect amount of stiffness in them. Same with the mouse wheel and these two buttons right here. But my issue with them is how loud they are. So the only way that this isn't this mouse isn't going to be driving you nuts if you're trying to use this as a daily driver is if you have headphones on. And so since I'm a student, since I'm in school, I know this isn't a mouse made for being a student, but I don't have a lot of desk space, so I really only have enough space on my desk to have one mouse and as a daily driver, um, using this for schoolwork, it's just not ideal um, because when you don't have headphones on, these mouse clicks are just so loud. You could hear them, they're fairly loud. Um, compared to the rival, ri the rival's a lot quieter and the mouse clicks are a little bit easier. The ultralight, I do like the way the buttons feel a little bit better. It's just that they're so loud. It, when I'm doing schoolwork and stuff like that, it'll dri it drives me nuts. And then onto the scroll wheel, like I was saying too, the scroll wheel has a good stiffness on the button. Um, it's also a good stiffness when you're rolling it. It could be maybe a little bit less stiff on the button, but otherwise it's a great scroll wheel. Um, compared to the Steel Series, the Steel Series is a lot looser. Um, and you press it, it's a very easy press as well, so I guess it compensates for this being loose. Um, sometimes I'll get an accidental roll while I'm trying to press it down, but nothing too game changing. Now this was the thing that was the biggest scam on this mouse. The rubber coating that they advertise on their website makes no sense. Um, so the rubber coating on top, you could tell there is a slight difference in texture between the sides and the top, and the top does feel, uh, it's got a nice plastic feel. Um, nothing like a soft touch plastic. Steel Series uses like fiber reinforced plastic, but this soft touch rubber coating is still, um, it's okay. It's not bad. My only complaint with it is it makes no sense. So why are you gonna put this soft touch cover, this rubber coating across the top of the mouse, but not on the sides where you're gripping it? So they advertised it to be, to get you more grip, you know, to see that you have more grip on the mouse but you're not gripping the mouse where oh, you're not gripping the mouse on your palm or your pointer fingers you're gripping on the sides and so to not have that coating on the sides doesn't make a lot of sense also there's this thing depending on your this will only depend on your grip but this is kind of one of the main reasons why I'm selling it if we flip this guy over with my grip my index or my ring finger I'm sorry sits kind of right in that divot right there I don't know if you see that divot, but my ring finger kind of sits right inside it. And so when I'm right clicking, it actually pinches my finger. And after a while, it starts to get really irritating. And so depending on your grip style, that's just another talking point. You know, I have a mix between a claw grip and a, and a palm grip. Just keep that in mind if you have bigger hands um, that if you are trying to palm grip it, um, you might run into the same problem. And a few other things. The mouse cord on this thing is absolute garbage. I know that a lot of people, when they buy this mouse, that's one of the first things they do is they replace it with a paracord. Um, but you can see this, it is so stiff. I mean, it loosened up a little bit since I got it, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's stiff. It's not very good compared to the rival, how it's not, this is not even a braided cable. It's not even a paracord. It's just a you know, straight rubber cable 
and even this moves the mouse less. And the thing that drove me the craziest about this mouse was if we flip it over, these mouse feet are absolute trash. So when I bought this thing, the hyperglides were not available to purchase yet. They're all out of stock, so I wasn't able to put hyperglides on it. But these mouse, mouse feet are just useless. Um, you could feel them scratching the surface of the mouse pad the entire time, and it's awful. And so that kind of leads me to the final point, which is price point. Retail, the final mouse ultralight sunset, is $90, um, which doesn't sound bad, but you can't get it retail anymore. And so if you wanna get it, you gotta get it through eBay. Looking at around um, 150 to 200 for a used one, and two to 300 for a new one. Unless you're a collector, or unless you're in need of, like I was saying, high performance gaming, it's not worth the price point by any means. When you have a mouse like this guy, retail, it retails for $59.99. Um, but during sales, it's always on sale for $39.99. Um, you could get them refurbished on Amazon for less than $35. Um, and so a $200 price difference, it's not worth the 20 grams of weight because that's the only that's the only better thing, in my opinion, that the Final Mouse has. It's just not quality, to be completely honest. It's just not where you know I would like it to be. But yeah, um... Those are all my main talking points. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's more negative, but the reason why I'm doing it is because I just did not enjoy the mouse at all. I spent a lot of money on this thing. I spent 175 bucks on it. Uh, I expected to enjoy it a lot more than I did. I did not get $175 worth of enjoyment out of it, and so that's why I'm making this video. For 90 bucks, it's a decent value, but don't pay resale, in my opinion. Um, it's just not worth it.